Good morning and welcome to Year 4 Maths. It's with me, Miss Dowley. Good morning. I'm just going to minimise me. So today we are starting with the learning objective. So I can count forwards and backwards to 13 steps of 1 and 2. I can count accurately. Make sure you put the short date and underline it and underline the learning objective. So let's start seeing if you can count from 0 to 30. And then I want you to count back from 30 to zero. Pause and have a try. So let's recap counting forwards from any number. So I want you to start the count at four and count forwards to 23. Start at nine and count forwards to 29. Start at 16 and count forwards to 27. Start at 2 and count forwards to 21. Start at 7 and count forwards to 15. Start at 19 and count forwards to 30. Pause this video whilst you have a try. How did you get on? So let's have a try counting backwards now. Now backwards is trickier than counting forwards, so you may find you need to practice counting backwards a lot more. So we're going to start at 30, start at 30 and count back to 5, start at 27 and count back to 19, start at 28 and count back to 12. Start at 21 and count back to 19. Start at 23 and count back to 9. Start at 20 and count back to 3. And start at 30 and count back to 11. Pause and have a try. So counting in steps of two. So we're going to start at zero and we're going to count forwards in steps of 2 to 30. Which numbers did you land on? Can you write these out? So then practice counting forwards in steps of 2 from 0 to 30 and then we're going to try from any number. So we're going to start at 10 and count forwards in steps of 2 to 30. Then start at four and count forwards to 26 in steps of two. Start at 18 and count forwards in steps of two to 20. Start at 12 and count forwards in steps of two to 28. Start at two and count forwards in steps of two to 22. Start at 22 and count forwards in steps of 2 to 30. Pause whilst you have a try. Counting backwards is much trickier than counting forwards and that's why we need to practice this as much as possible. So this time we're going to count back in steps of 2 from 30. So which numbers did you say? Can you write these down? Pause this whilst you have a try. So we're going to start at 30 and count back in steps of two to 10. We're going to start at 28 and count back in steps of two to two. We're going to start at 22 and count back in steps of two to 12. We're going to start at 30 and count back in steps of two to six. We're going to start at 24 and count back in steps of two to two. We're going to start at 16 and count back in steps of two to six. Start at 22 and count back in steps of two to 18. If there are any that you find tricky, please keep practicing these. You need to be really confident with counting backwards as well as forwards. 
So last week we learned our dice patterns. So have a quick look at the dice below. Can you remember quickly how many are on each one? Have a quick look now. Last week we practiced counting accurately when we cannot move the objects. Finding a place to start on one side and working your way over will help. So let's look at how I counted this one. Try pointing to each dot as you follow my counting. So I started my counting here and I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It is easy to get muddled when you're counting. So finding a good starting point and moving from one side to the other will always help. So can you try counting each of these dominoes as carefully as you can? Pause and have a try. How did you do? So five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. So let's try some larger numbers. Count how many burgers there are. Pause this whilst you have a go. Let's see how you got on. How did you count them? Was it similar to how I've done it below? Now you may have chosen to go a different way. You might have gone down like this. I chose to go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there were 16 burgers. Can you try counting these objects? Again, remember, find a good place to start and work your way along. Pause and have a try. So here are the answers. So there were 13, 11, 9, 15, 20 and 12. Did you get them right? So this is a game for you to make at home. Now you can play it with a couple of players. You will need some paper and some pens and you will need to draw the dice patterns onto six pieces of paper. Um, then what you will need to do is have a dice. You put the cards randomly face up in the middle of the floor or the table. Each player takes a turn to roll the dice and takes the pattern card that matches the number thrown. So if you throw a four, you would find the four pattern card in the middle and you put that in front of you. And then the other player has a go. And each player takes turn collecting the cards. So when you throw the dice, if you threw a three, you'd collect a three. And the cards should be placed in sequence in front of each player. So that means you should put them in order. So starting with number one and working your way through to the highest. If a thrower, uh, sorry, if a player throws a number they already have, they must miss a turn. The winner is the first person to get a sequence of four cards. Have fun playing this. Thank you.